So my phone's been overheating guys. Uh, let me just give you a quick demonstration of the start. So it did start. There we go. Just pull it. Started right up. And I don't want to run it too much because I don't have a filter on there. And uh, going back to this gas can. It's got the cap here so it doesn't spill. When you're done using it. You just press down on this, turn it. Let's see, hold on real quick. Hold down, turn. Right. Hold down on this lever, turn it. That's the locking for this. Clean that off a little bit, make sure there's no dust on there. So you don't contaminate your fuel. Take this off. And then put it in upside down. Like that. You put this little cap on there. And then you put the big cap on top. And that seals your fuel tank. Use it you just want to tighten it not too much you don't want to break the cap off but just so you know it's tight good hand tightening and that's going to keep your fuel fresh especially if you've used some type of uh, fuel additive I recommend using stable or any kind of stabilizer so this one's got the 360 performance, it's the 5-in-1, uh, it's got all, all sorts of things, it's for ethanol, uh, vapor technology, I don't know what else. I got the big bottle and it tells you it's to prevent water in the fuel, to prevent damage against ethanol fuels and so on and so forth. I'll show you that one. And then another little thing that I do also is I put a little bit of octane booster in my fuel so that it's a, a more of a controlled explosion in the engine and it just uh, supposedly it's supposed to make your your uh, engine last longer if you use that octane booster or, or just higher octane fuel but since here in my hometown we don't have a high octane ethanol free or non-ethanol fuel better said I go ahead and use the 87 non-ethanol fuel and then I put an octane booster so that brings the octane up I don't know how much more but uh, it should help with the combustion so there you have it guys brand new 2018 snapper self-propelled rear-wheel drive with the 177 cc Briggs & Stratton professional series so we'll see how this one does. I really like my old one with the quiet power technology. But this one has got a beefier motor. And I'm pretty sure it's going to do much better than, than that one. When it comes to thicker grass or mulching leaves. Because uh, the fall's coming up. And we're going to be doing some mulching jobs. I'm pretty sure some leaf cleanups. What I usually do is I'll rake up the leaves or blow them into a pile. And then I <clears throat> go ahead and mulch them with my lawnmower. And then I bag them in the black bags, white bags, whatever kind of bags you have. So that way you, you use less bags and it's less effort to be, be bagging, you know. Instead of putting in two, three bags, you mulch it up, you put it in one bag and you're done. You know, you let your machine do the work. Cut it up into fine pieces and then you can even take it home, throw it in uh, around your trees, around your plants, and your lawn. Creates good uh, good good fertilizer or good um, what's it called? Soil nutrition. So there you have it guys. Snapper SP90. This is the SP90. Go ahead and comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. 
110 bucks. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Till next time.